Detox was good, bro. What's happening with your DME TV? Yeah, not mad. Glad to have you here today, man. Glad to be here, my boy. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this interview started. So, um, tell me, how long have you been uh, making music? I've been making music for since 2005, since I was 12 years old. I'm 24 right now. I'm making music since I was, since I was 12. I actually started up here. I'm from Georgetown, but I actually started up here in Columbia at my grandma's house. I was sneaking on MP3. On sound click, sneaking on beats and freestyle, and that's how I started rapping. All right. So, uh, do you remember your first song you recorded? Yeah, my first song is me and my brother Ross, and we was going over the, we was on 50 cent.com and playing his instrumentals from the massacre, and we was on MP3 doing beats and stuff, and and we went off that little, just a little bit beat, and that was my first song. That first song you recorded. That's the first song. How you felt? How did you feel? Uh, I felt good, you know, at the time it felt different because a lot of people, especially in my age group, where I was from, in Georgetown, South Carolina, they wasn't knowing that type of stuff of recording. Everybody had dreams, but at that time, as a 12-year-old in sixth grade, mm -hmm. rap wasn't a thing. You get what I'm saying? It was a thing, but it wasn't a thing. Right, right. And, and you guys say by the time, pioneers with the shit. Right. So, um, so what influenced you to start rapping? Honestly, I just... I, I took up from the people that I looked up in the rap game, like 50 Cent, G Unit, Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? And the people they just they, they just helped me to, you know what I'm saying? I guess I guess you know give you a demeanor like you know rap, hip hop and rap is very influential, especially in the in the urban culture. Right. So, so that was a big thing for me. You know, I looked up to them guys at the time, and that was my thing. So when it's time to get your creative thoughts, like tell me how do you go about getting your creative thoughts? Uh, I just relax, really. I just honestly, it's however I'm feeling that day. If I'm, I guess, if I'm in a gloomy mood or whatever, then you know I'm gonna I'm gonna make that type of music. If I'm in a a more up upbeat type of feeling, I will make something like that. But right. you know, I drink a little bit of you know, hang with the fellas, do whatever. You know, it is what it is. All right. So far as the local SC scene, um, any artists, local or mainstream, that you follow, that you look up to? Uh, I wouldn't really say look up to, but you know, it's the only people I fuck with is the people I know. You know what I'm saying? Like, we we all listen to mainstream music, but I really pay attention to South Carolina music and the surrounding right. states and everything. You know, a couple people I fuck with, you know, Meat Band, Go Rats, you know, a couple right. niggas that I'm close to that I actually know. You know, yeah. first I gotta know your character, know who you are, to really appreciate your music. You know what I'm saying? That's why, you know, I'm trying to get better even myself, and I think everyone should, of supporting other artists. Cause you know, when you're not supporting another artist, how you expect for you to get the support? You know, you gotta show people love, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You can't, you, gotta show you know, that you know, I can't, I can't look out for you if you don't look out for me. You feel what I'm saying? So, that's basically, that's a big thing, you know? So, um, with that being said, is there any local artists that you like to work with, local or mainstream? Uh, mainstream point of view, honestly, it wouldn't be any rappers that I'm very edging. It'd be, mm -hmm. it'd be singers or pop like, or something like that. Like who? I mean, uh, you know, Chris Brown, Adele. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so something different. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Something to bring a different dimension to my music. Yeah. If you listen to my music, you can tell like. I'm, I'm I'm aiming for a different type of crowd. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It ain't it ain't just one type of crowd. It's it's world. I call it world music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's got to be different, man. So how do you feel about the state of hip hop in South Carolina? Uh, hip hop in South Carolina is strong, but we can become more united. And once we become more united, then we can see what other people have to offer. Because it's, it's like this. South Carolina music is a, is a, is a sword, all right? It's a sword, right? And it's different pieces in different in different zones of South Carolina. So it's like this. If if niggas in Columbia got this piece right here, you know what I'm saying? A nigga in Charleston got this, but they don't support each other or want to link up because they think they're better than each other. Damn, we missing parts of the sword yeah. that can come together. Yeah. That can, you know, like, so then they, if, we, if we come together and, and build it together, then 
you know, things would be better for each and every one of us. Right. That's 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 the most common thing I, I keep hearing from you know every interview that I do is unity. So, I mean, you kind of answer the next question as you know, as far as like room room for improvement, what's needed, unity. Right. Okay. All right. So, um, what's your favorite color? Do you have a favorite color? Uh, favorite color black, mm, black and red, white. It don't matter. I mean, yeah. I done got older. I just you wear whatever. Don't, it don't matter. Shit, whatever on the rack, and I see I like it. Shit, I grab it, man. Yeah. Even you know, I ain't, I ain't gang affiliated or nothing like yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to get money, better myself. I got kids and shit, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's what it's about, man. Yeah. What about uh favorite food? Do you have a favorite food? Favorite food? Uh, I'm a pasta type of nigga, man. I like pasta, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm always down for a steak, some damn pancakes or something like that. But yeah, yeah there's something, something you know, something different, man. Finger food, I don't really edge on the finger yeah. food too much. See, I think this next question is everybody's favorite question. When you go to the studio, name a few things that you need or have to have in the studio. I got. I'm, I'm gonna keep on it. I gotta have. I gotta have some. Gotta have some Kush. I got to be real. I got to. Be. Shit. I think that's number one on the list. Yeah, that's probably number one. You know what I'm saying? Without that, you got a motivation. Yeah. Shit. Shit. I, I, most I need something to drink. You know what I'm saying? A little beer. Something, just something to get me buzzing. You know, yeah. get my head bobbing, get me on. And then shit, not, I, I just need, I, like I said, I just need the right environment. I need the right, like it goes back to the very first question. I just need the right, that oomph. You know what I'm saying? Something to give me that, ah. Like maybe I might have woke, woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Well, guess what? I got a bunch of wrong side of the bed songs that I got put aside just for that type of thing because that's how life is. So that's how you got to prepare. You know what I'm saying? Prepare for the worst, but wish for the best. That's yeah, always yeah. number one. Number one. Number one. So um, mixtapes, EPs, what you got coming up? Any projects? My next mixtape is called Holes, Frozen Clothes. That'll be coming out very soon. I have not put a date on it yet, but it's coming out very soon. And right after that, Detoxathon is coming out. And right after that, I'm gonna be working with some artists and making sure that the artists I'm working with that I got are gonna be bringing themselves up and bringing a name into the game. And so honestly, that that's one of my most important three projects that's coming out right now. Uh -huh. And I'm always open for other things and features and everything like that. So I always hit my social media, you know, my Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, SoundCloud, Reverb Nation. You know what I'm saying? All that. Go ahead and drop that information for the people, man. SoundCloud, uh, Young Bubba, Twitter, Detoxathon, that's what the underscores and all that. You'll see it. It's Google it. It's all in there. ReverbNation.com slash Detox. Uh, Instagram, Young Bubba underscore 803. Facebook, Young Bubba Brown. Yeah. Man, that concludes our interview, man. Appreciate the time. Yes, sir. Shit, I've been looking forward to your new projects, man. You know we're going to work. Yes, sir, of course. You know where to find me at. Yes, sir. DME TV, baby. All right. Young Bubba.